morning my lovely people it's another beautiful day waking up in kigali it's sunday it's the day we check out it's been awesome i've enjoyed the whole trip actually i haven't told you guys where we actually are i think i haven't said it in any of the vlogs so we are in giseni it's the border town to DRC Congo. That's where we are. Now I'm going for breakfast. It's a beautiful morning, waking up to a beautiful sun, sunrise just near the lake. It's just an amazing sight to view. So we are traveling today to Kigali City early in the morning. It's around 8.30. We are checking out at night, travel to Kigali so that we can just visit a few sites in Kigali City. So, see you guys in Kigali. So, it's on a Saturday evening. Today is a white party dinner, installation dinner uh, for the new president, president of Rotaract Club of Karunia. The theme of the dinner is white, all white party. So, that's what we are going to do right now. Uh, this is my dress for the night. Everyone is so lit. It's beautiful. Everyone is so beautiful. In
We are now in Kigali. The journey was smooth but long. So we are here still. Waiting to board our bus later in the evening. Just going to go to the memorial and then around the town to just see this hotel. Now we are changing currencies to Rwandese, from cash to Rwandese. We only see that we can go to the memorial and probably do some a little bit of shopping. Buying whatever you want, some antiques. Yeah, yeah. Just at the bus station, trying to get a bus to take us to. Oh, Rwanda, <laughs> this is the main bus stop in Kigali. Victims of the genocide against the city, and here only. We have uh, a primary in place for more than 259,000 people, victims of the genocide. Um, um, that we retreat from different shallow graves in Kigali uh, to bury them in a more decent and dignified way here. And we are still on an ongoing process of the burial activity. Thank you for joining us. Um, then, uh, in 2004, we launched a museum uh, that is uh, going to take you through the history to learn more about the whole process of the genocide, all the steps that it took to um, uh, be able to lose more than uh, one million lives in only a hundred days of, of a period uh, in 1994 genocide. Uh, but also we look at the recovery process, which which is a process uh, that we are still ongoing. And then we talk about other similar cases that happened worldwide. Holocaust, Armenian Genocide, Cambodia, and so on. And at the end, uh, we have dedicated a small room uh, to kids, victims um, of the genocide, uh, basically to uh, show you that um, um, killing children is not a choice of a killer. This is something he has been told to do. Um, when you kill a kid, um, you kill the future generation of the people you're killing. Uh, but also at the same time you're killing someone who probably would have become someone important for the country. Um, so this is what the killers, this is what the instigators of the genocide would like to do. Um, so we have dedicated that room for the animosity, uh, but also the, the aim of, of the genocide. Um, so this is going to be uh, something very moving, uh, very moving, very emotional, of course. Um, the history is like that, so get ready and uh, be prepared for that. Uh, but also don't be scared. This is how, how, how the atmosphere here is. Um, uh, someone asked about pictures. It's free outside, um, inside. I mean, all indoors. Uh, you need to pay at least one thousand Kenyan shillings um, to, to do that for camera. Mm -hmm. And um, um, we we hire audio tours. Um, these are machines that take you around, audio guides. Um, we have numbered stops, you simply see the number and you hit on the corresponding one and you listen, but everything is written on the panels as well. You can, you can just go through by some people too. Um, so, thank you. I would like to welcome you here um, in the next door room. We'll be going to start with a 10 minutes long film, and then after that we'll show you where you sit. Thank you. going through the museum and it's so sad we never want this to happen ever to anyone to any country never 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 it's just so walking where the mass graves are these are the mass graves from all the way to that end all the way you go to that end all those people were killed all those people were killed it's so sad if you haven't visited Rwanda, come and visit this place you to, so that you feel, you get the feeling of 
what violence can do, what coming against one another can do. This is to all those people who have, who have never visited Rwanda to come and see what happens when we come against one another. We should never, ever, ever come against one another. Never, ever in this life. The place is so huge, you can't even go through it. In, within just an hour, you have to take so much time to go. This is the rose garden. If you can come with a rose, you can always plant one there. And uh, still more graves. More graves. And more graves. This was like wiping out a whole nation. Where was the world then? Where was Kenya? Where was Uganda? Where was Tanzania? This can never be, can never let, can, we can never let this happen again. Le, just like what happened in Kenya 2007, we are going to the election and will not let this happen. We'll keep peace. We are just going to choose our leaders and keep peace. Awesome. Okay. Have you learned? What have you learned? So much. <laughs> Coming to this, would you ever, ever in your life want something to like no. this? in your country or any other country in Africa God forbid anywhere it's so touching yeah. so sad it's like uh, our trip to Rwanda is almost coming to an end and this is how we get to the end of the trip we came to the memorial site we came to the memorial site to just have a feel of what happened those years it's so sad. If you've never been to Rwanda, come to Rwanda and visit. This is one place you can never miss to visit when you get to Rwanda. This is our walk from the memorial. That's the entrance. So we yeah, are just walking. And here you get the view of Rwanda sound. I don't know whether you guys can see, but it's quite a distance. Let me try you get the view. Very, very pretty view. I wish I had a better camera to zoom in. Oh no, it can't zoom in. So there we have the view of the town. The means of transport in Rwanda, again, taking a motor ride to the bus stop. We almost got late, we stayed too long at the memorial. So I don't even know whether we'll get to have lunch here or we just go. Just left Kigali town on our way to Uganda. Yes, we just got to Kampala, it's 3 30. Just got sent to Kisumu, we are going to look for our breakfast. Then we stop over again at Nakuru. The journey has been so smooth so far. After about 24, 27 hours, we are in Nairobi. Yes, thanks to God, we are back safely in our territory. It was such a great journey. It was amazing. We enjoyed. We had so much fun. The bus is basically empty. Some have already alighted on our way to Nairobi.